Joining me now is the Highland Park Mayor, Nancy Rotering. Mayor, thank you for being with us. Good thank to you, see you Allie. again. Uh, we saw you just moments ago. We showed the video of you when, when um, the Vice President was here. She had a scheduled trip to Chicago. She did. And you, you, had, you had asked her to come? I asked her to come up and speak to our first responders. They have had an unbelievable 36 hours, yeah. and I knew they'd appreciate hearing words of comfort and support from the vice president. More importantly, she said to them, they need to take care of themselves. Tell us about the first responders. There were two, two, three reasons first responders were here. One is that some of them were in the, in the, in parade. the parade. Absolutely. Secondly, it was a large event, so there was a larger right. police presence. And right. third, there were the police around, the police stations over there. Yeah. Um, so they, they did exactly what we hope first responders will do. At their own, to their own peril, they ran toward the Straight gunshots. Straight towards the danger. Everybody else trying to run away, as Absolutely. people should. Absolutely. And they were running toward it. They were. They were unbelievable. And we've had incredible partnership with the FBI, ATF, the Illinois State of State uh, Police, and so many local police departments came together, have worked in unbelievable concert, and they caught the guy. Yeah. I mean, it was an afternoon of absolute fear and panic. People were hiding under this gas station, under that store, in houses. They caught him. People um, understand that all politics is local. And in this particular place, this city did the right thing about assault weapons bans. In 2013, we banned them. <coughs> Pardon me. And yet, this still happened. Right. So we need to talk about the fact that patchwork legislation isn't going to work when you're talking about weapons of war and it's time for a national ban. We had one. It diminished the number of mass shootings for several years and then it expired. And here we are. And to your point, this is all too frequent. I heard from so many mayors who said to me, oh, yeah, let me give you the handbook on what mayors are supposed right, to you do. You guys think about this now. It's not it's not an abstract. That's something it that might not, not happen. Abstract. Exactly. The U.S. Conference of Mayors literally had a seminar that was attended by hundreds of mayors. And in the middle of that seminar, the mayor of Seattle got the call that her city was dealing with a mass shooting. It's a sickness. It needs to be addressed. We did what we could. We represented our city's values here and took the necessary action. Right. We took the risk of getting sued by the NRA, and we were, and we prevailed. But at the end of the day, we need to see leadership, whether it's at the state level. I would prefer the national level because we're surrounded by several states right, you've got, with uh, very I, lenient I, I didn't tell the full story there, that you, you're surrounded by other communities that don't have these laws, but the state is surrounded by other states. That, exactly. that don't, Illinois does have more strict gun laws than Absolutely. a lot of places do, but it doesn't matter because... They can no just drive an gun. hour yeah, and they're in right. Indiana. They can drive in another direction and they're in Missouri. I mean, yeah. this country has to get tired of the carnage at yeah. some point. I, the pictures and the, what happens to people's bodies when somebody uses a combat weapon isn't making a statement. It's a violent, evil act. Is there some sense that this evolves and this changes? Because... It's hard when you when you just you go into these communities where people say, I can't believe this happened here. Right. But it does. It, it does. happens everywhere. Is there some sense that do you get some sense, particularly seeing the vice president here? We've obviously had some gun legislation, which was right. monumental to have anything happen. Do you think people are tired of it and they, they will support communities that take a strong stand? It's interesting. I've gotten several calls from municipalities who are wanting to take this action. Currently, they're preempted by the state of Illinois. We're working to roll that back. I was lobbying the governor yesterday when he came here. There will hopefully be action either in terms of removing state preemption or creating a statewide ban. But again, it has to be a national movement. We are the only country that doesn't address access to weapons of, of war. We know people have mental health issues in other countries and play video games and post nonsense on social media, right. but they don't have access to these guns and something has to be done. This isn't freedom. We came together yesterday to celebrate as a community, multi-generational Independence Day, our first parade in two years. It was a glorious day until it wasn't. And it turned from a parade to a mass evacuation. Enough.